If you saw a shooting star, what would you wish for? Better get those ideas ready because the Orion meteor shower is peaking tonight and Friday night. I'm 5 News Chief Meteorologist Matt Standridge. We get the Orion meteor shower just because it seems like all the shooting stars this time of year tend to come from the club of Orion. Orion is kind of known as one of the most well-known or most recognizable constellations, especially in the winter sky. See his belt? You gotta find those three dots right in a row, the three stars. You see his belt, but then off here towards, you know, above that constellation, that's where you get his club. And that's generally where it looks like the shooting stars are coming from, hence the name Orionids. The reason why we get these here in about October every year is because the Earth gets in position behind Halley's Comet's debris field. And so that's just kind of scattered behind the comet, but we get into that, we start to see some shooting stars. It's also really nice this time of year in order to see shooting stars because generally there's less haze, uh, there's more nighttime than daytime, and plus, we're lucky this year that the full moon is here, you know, another two weeks away. We're kind of towards the minimum, close to a new moon. In fact, we're losing illumination. I think for, for Thursday night, we've got a 25% illumination from the moon. And then for Friday night, only 17% illumination. So there's not a lot of moonlight to kind of distract our eyes from the shooting stars. But where should we look? That is key. Well, the Orion constellation really has a good viewing later in towards the winter. But here in October, it starts to rise there in the eastern sky right around midnight. So you're probably not going to see too much before midnight. This is definitely one that favors the early morning hours rather than the late evening hours. But thereafter, after midnight, Orion starts to come up there in the eastern sky. And then he starts to go up, you know, towards uh, not completely right above our heads, but more in the southern sky and then wraps back off towards the west. So east to south, to west, but I'd probably say the best time to see it would be about three or four o'clock in the morning and probably look just generally south, a little bit above the horizon, maybe slanted towards the west just a bit. But you're going to look towards the belt and then just go up a little bit. There's Orion's Club. That's generally what's called the radiant of the Orion and meteor shower. Generally where it kind of seems like most of the meteor showers, most of those shooting stars are coming from. The rate could be 10 to 20 meteors per hour, so not as many as the Perseids, but with the clear night sky, it may be a bit easier to see some of those shooting stars rather than some of the Perseids when you got kind of the haze getting in the middle of the way. But there should be a lot of clear sky across the central United States. Should be a great night to see the Orion meteor shower. Speaking of those clouds, let's just take a closer look across the whole country. We've got two areas to really talk about for clouds. Back off towards the north and west throughout the overnight hours. Now we've gone ahead and skipped off towards about sunrise Friday morning. We've got some scattered clouds in the Rockies, but towards the Pacific Northwest, our next storm system, that's gonna come in by, by next week to give rain to much of the middle part of the country through the U.S. heartland, is off back towards the north and west. So Montana, Idaho, Portland, uh, into Oregon, and then uh, in Washington itself, maybe even Wyoming a bit too. A decent amount of clouds, at least scattered clouds, the farther south you go. Now close to the Canadian border, U.S. Canadian border, there over the Great Lakes, some lingering clouds, those may extend south into parts of Chicago, Indianapolis, Detroit, and Cleveland. Not a complete cloud deck, the, the complete over his cast sky should mainly be from Lake Huron and, and Lake Superior northbound into Quebec and Manitoba. In the northeast, we'll probably have some clouds in the evening, and then a lot of those will, will start to clear out overnight into early Friday morning. But a lot of clear sky across the central United States, especially in Arkansas and Oklahoma. What's also nice is the south wind is starting to come back too because some of our mornings have been really cold. Uh, we, a lot of mornings we've been sitting in the 20s. We should only be sitting in the 40s, 40s and 50s overnight tonight. So of course, still chilly, but at least it's not as frigid as it has been. But the Orion meteor shower, peaks tonight. It technically goes all the way to Thanksgiving, but it's peaking tonight. But you may still see a shooting star or two all the way through Thanksgiving. It's kind of a long one. It goes from uh, mid-September to mid-November, so a long period, but October, mid to late October generally is the peak, and for 2022, the peak is tonight and into Friday night.